Morning world and welcome to an absolutely glorious Saturday 13th of April. <laughs> couple of things to start off with. Carol, got your card and the contents, thank you. I will add that to the air ambulance fund. Second, Piddly Squat's door. No, it's not broken. This is just the plastic protective film over it that made it look like it cracked. I put a post up on Instagram the other day and folks thought the door had been hit. What I was taking a photograph of was that. Instagram cropped the picture. So, yeah. The reason the plastic's still on there is because we haven't actually done the reveals yet. So, when they're done, plastic will come off. Anyway, uh, I just got back from a visit to our vets. Um, little brown calf, still not very well this morning. Uh, antibiotics haven't touched whatever it was. We decided that the problem is, this is myself and the vet, um, I put a couple of bales of silage in there a while ago. Now, they've been on hay and we think the change of diet has messed with the guts. Um, there's been no blood in the poo or anything like that, so because the second thing was coccidiosis, and apparently there's a lot of that going around this year. Vets have treated lots and lots of animals for coxy. We don't think that's what it is. So for the time being, because they're all still drinking, um, we have given them a couple of doses of drugs that I can no longer remember the name of, a red one and a white one. They both, two calves I've given this to because there was a second one that wasn't looking very peaky and I have got a third dose if another one goes down or looks like it's going down. I've got another one that's just not very lively. So it's Saturday today, Sunday tomorrow. I'd rather have it in the house and if a third calf starts to go downhill, I can catch it a bit quicker. Anyway, so we treated two calves um, I'm hoping that's going to make a difference and we're going to see an improvement over the next 24 hours. Um, yeah, see, this is the sort of thing I don't usually have to do. We don't, we don't get this sort of tr trouble. But I think with the uh, sudden change of diet from hay to silage, that was a mistake. Um, and, well, it wasn't all silage. They had hay and silage, but they obviously ate some of the silage because it was sweeter and that's messed them up. Um, they're back on hay now. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, plus the mild weather, the damp weather, I think there's a lot of bugs around. And yeah, I think I made a boo-boo in, um, in putting a bale of silage in there. So I'm sure many of you will be nodding and go, yeah, thought so, told you so. Yeah. Anyway, so we're back on Holly's cabin. I want to put the bottle gully in today. So... Oh, which is this trap, which is basically just a trap, a bit like in your sink. Um, it's got an insert in there that um, basically if anything heavy goes in here, it sinks to the bottom and we can pull that out and recover anything that goes in. So anything that goes down the sink and she goes, oh, I've dropped something, she's got a chance of getting it out. But then they've got to connect this to that pipe down there and we're going to do that using a couple of 45s. So, one of which can go straight on here. Am I gonna need a neat? Nope, no I'm not. He went straight on there. Right, that gives me my angle. I need to cut a piece of pipe off of there to slip over that to the other 45 that will then go into that chap down there. Easy as that. I can hear him. Where is he? I could hear him yesterday, but I couldn't see him. So until I've actually seen him, it's not officially spring. There are swallows around here. I heard them yesterday, and I've just heard them again. Now, whether they're just on their way north, flying past, it's obviously, I don't think it's our swallows yet. We have a couple of resident ones that come here. They're perhaps not here yet. It's just birds going north. twice 
twice I've heard them and not seen them. Anyway, I need a short bit of pipe. Not a long bit, just a short bit. About, about that much, I reckon. Wind's going that way, by the way, just so you know. I don't know if I need any lube on there or not. I probably do. Yeah. I'm probably going to find I've cut it off too long, too short or something. And I've got to take it apart again anyway, but so be it. There it goes. Right, so that'll go in there. Which means that that one there should go on there. And put me back on the straight and narrow again. Right, we don't want that bit. We do want this bit. do we're gonna shove that in there and then that in there just to make it sound really really easy so I'm, no, I'm by no means an expert in this I mean this is not this is not a how to do this video like I said before very few of my videos are a case of this is how you do it this is this is how I did it Okay, whether that's right or wrong, or you agree or not, it's just the way I did it. Right, I need to get on my hands and knees and have a scrabble about down there and get this set. So I'll have my plant pot out, if I can get it out. There he goes. There was a little bit of a kink in the pipe, but he did plonk in there. I did see him go. So, if I've cut that off at the right length, that, should go in there and then sit it up in, in there and then sit up in there if I measured it right. I kind of measured it by eye so if it's wrong that would be why. It's in. Took a little bit of fitting and fettling but basically pipes all fitted in nice and tight, bottle gull is in. I don't think it's dead spot on level but it's level enough now that I can go on and backfill this um, right up to the edge of the shoulder up there I think and then I've got to make up my mind then whether I'm going to put a bit of concrete around the top I might I might not once I've concreted it that's it it's done it's it's, it's done so I might just level it up for the time being let everything settle down and then if I need to put a bit of concrete around the top later on, I can always come back to that. In saying that, we all know that if I don't do it now, it'll probably never get done. But anyway, it's in. I saw it. I actually saw it. I heard it first and then I saw it. So unfortunately, too late to put the camera on, but yeah, spring officially here. I see my first swallow at the farm. Happy days. We're done. Well, for now, anyway. As much as we're going to do today. So, pipe works all connected up. I've come up with a couple of bucketfuls of what I've got left of the planings, which wasn't a lot, actually. And put it down here. 
So we've got a water pipe sticking up there, aiming at that. And we've got our drain down there, which we may or may not put um, something over the top of that. I don't think I'm going to leave that over there for a minute. Okay, so I wanted it an inch below this surface, which is what I got. It's probably going to settle a little bit more yet because it hasn't been concreted in properly. Um, so yeah, there's going to be some settlement. So maybe we'll put a cap on it in the summer next time I mix them some concrete up. Like you do. But for the time being, apart from actually connecting the waste and the water, we are done. It's that time again. Cut the grass, park the footpath, so no one can say, Ooh, you didn't know where it was. I've never seen the pond water that dark, that colour. So whether it's the weed, I honestly couldn't tell you. Am I going to spot a tadpole in there? Yeah, that colour, I think we're going to struggle. I can't see more than about six, seven inches deep in there. That actually might be good for the tadpoles, but all the weeds broken up. So has, I mean, this is his ducks. Or should I bring some geese on here? I mean, that's a duck feather there. And there are other feathers up here. Well, that could be from a wood pigeon. I don't know. But yeah, very, very black. So the only chance I'm going to have of seeing a tadpole is against the leaves of one of those plants in there, but Nothing. There's a predator there. He's tiny. You're not going to see that. I'm hoping there's tadpoles and there's definitely life in there. I mean, the thing is full of life. But I wonder what's made the water that dark. I don't know. Right, anyway, let's get the rest of this grass cut. It's not going to do itself, is it? This is the, that's our house obviously, this is the little northern paddock where we intend to have any future little do's to get togethers, fundraisers, whatever. And this in here is the little bit of woodland that I planted. Well, the bigger trees, they were already here. They were planted by the previous owners of the golf course and we kept them and then I planted, actually Martin and the guys planted most of them. We planted everything up on that bank, that's all, uh, bought in tipped soil. It's rubbish really. No good for anything bar growing some trees. So that's why we did that. And it just gives us a screen between us and the neighbours. So, because that's holiday lips over there. And they have hen parties and stuff. And they get a bit loud, a bit leery. So we want something between us and them just to shut them out. I'm sure you understand. Right, uh, that's that done. Um, the pallet does want doing, but it's getting a bit late. It's also getting cold and I ain't got a jumper on, so I'm getting chilled. So that's it for today, I think. Um, there's not much else to share with you. Uh, we'll go and check on those two cars bit in a bit, see how they're fairing. They had their jabs 11, 12, about five hours ago. So hopefully that, that's starting to work now. Um, we'll see, we'll probably know about that tomorrow. Anyway, speaking tomorrow. We'll see you then.